can you talk about the the try harder mindset? That's a really in, intriguing phrase, and I, I want to. Uh, can you sort of give me a like a like the elevator pitch of what what try harder means in regards to your study and training? Yeah, you know our most famous certification from offsite is OSCP, yep. and the training for that is a PWK penetration testing with Cali Linux. And there we have an extended lab, and the lab has multiple networks, a lot of machines, different kind of real world exploits built in. But we don't tell you exactly where they are. Because mm. in the real world, when you do the job, yeah. people don't tell you, it's not a go here, go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you get stuck, here's a hint, or here's a walkthrough. Right. So what we're trying to show people is that this is what the real world is like. And see if you can figure out. And in the beginning, you may not know. And then when you solve problems, like any problem you solve, it's physics is that way, cybersecurity is that way. Go in with a hypothesis. And then you're going to either prove or disapprove your hypothesis. Mm -hmm. If you disapprove your hypothesis, then come up with another one. So the, the thing about try harder is that don't give up easily because you didn't accomplish what you set out to accomplish in the beginning. But at the same time, it does not mean do the exact same thing over and over again. That right. is not try harder. Yes. And in fact, one of the things that I think is a habit people need to develop and it takes time to realize that's an important habit. I go back to physics again. In physics, we often get stuck. We actually fail more often than oh, we yeah. succeed. That's how we figure out the, the truth about something when we learn something that is so profound, the new knowledge, right? But when you get stuck, one thing I learned during grad school time is we literally take a break, coffee break, lunch break, you go out with some uh, fellow graduate students and you actually talk about, say, you know, I just got stuck with this experiment and I, I wonder if you have run into that. Right. In that conversation, you never know what thoughts and something someone mentions or something you heard just gave you another breakthrough yes. idea for another hypothesis. In cybersecurity, exactly the same thing. So, yep. for example, we encourage our students when you're working in the lab, well, even when you're taking the exam, our exam is famous 24 hours long. When you get stuck, take a break. It's actually important. Yeah. Move away from the screen because by doing that, things can come to your mind in a very organic way that can give you a really good hint or idea and the direction you haven't thought about and the angle you haven't thought about. Mm. That's what we mean by try harder yep. is to learn those techniques and develop those habits don't just give up, but don't be the dead horse either. I mean, if you keep on trying the same thing, it's going to have the same result. But yeah. know when to walk away. By walking away, taking a break, in fact, you can have new insights. That's what we mean by try harder. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn. Stay up to date on all things cyberwork.